For thousands of years, we've gathered our observations of the heavens into books that would more than fill a library. We've built a vast body of knowledge about our universe. How it all began, how it will end. It's a work in progress. The script is still being written. The ink is still wet on the page. Where do we begin? Let's begin at the beginning. Let's begin with the Big Bang. The Big Bang is a theory of cosmic evolution. It tells us how the universe evolved, how it changed, from a split second after whatever brought it into existence, and we still don't know what that is until today. When you look out at the universe and look at the other distant galaxies, you see that they're all fleeing away from us, that they're all moving outward at huge velocities. You extrapolate that all the way back, you see that one time, maybe 13 or 14 billion years ago, everything that there was must have been compressed into one inconceivably dense point. We know we don't have the whole story, but um, we've never had the whole story in the history of physics. Uh, we've had a series of better and better approximations revealing startlingly more and more beautiful and interesting truths. The Big Bang is our theory for the beginning of the universe. But for a long time, people either didn't think about the origin of the universe, or they assumed the universe had always existed and was everlasting. Even scientists were reluctant at first to embrace the Big Bang. It was meant to be a derisive term. However, the Big Bang is really a contradiction because it was not big and there was no bang. It wasn't big because we think that the universe started from a singularity of some sort and there was no bang because there was no air to carry the vibrations. So a Big Bang is in some sense is a misnomer, but the name stuck. And so has the theory. Right now, I would say that the Big Bang Theory is a solid part of science as we understand it. Uh, anybody who doesn't accept it is regarded by most of the people in the community as essentially a crackpot. But acceptance and understanding are two different things. The Big Bang Theory doesn't yet provide all the answers science seeks to explain how our universe was born. What cosmologists are referring to when they talk about the Big Bang Theory is really only a description of the aftermath of the bang. Uh, the conventional Big Bang Theory says nothing about what banged, why it banged, or what happened before it banged. Right now, at this very second, we're in the aftermath of the Big Bang. Everything we see, and hear, and taste, and smell, and touch is the aftermath. The Big Bang is really our evolving, expanding universe. For us, mostly stuck on our rocky little planet, the view of the universe begins with Earth. 